Good morning, Virgo. I'm here to do your weekly love reading. All right, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with all Virgos. All right, please take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest behind. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I've already meditated on your cards. I've already called in the divine for divine assistance. So, Virgos, we're going to go ahead and get ready to start. Two of Pentacles wanted to come out. All right, we're going to shuffle that back in there. If it's meant to come out, it'll come out. This is for my Virgo, Sun Moon Rising. All right, Virgo. Energy between you and your person. We have the King of Swords. Your person's energy is the Seven of Wands. Your energy is the Five of Cups, Virgo. Oh, so recent past was not looking so hot. All right, let's continue. Something that was said, perhaps put your person in a, you know, a feeling of having to defend themselves. Whatever it was, it was something that you kind of feel bad about, possibly. You know, this could be vice versa, apply how it resonates. Um, it could be them who said something to you that made you feel defensive. It's a general reading. Okay, something that they regret, feel remorseful about. Let's continue. Energy between you and your person. We have the chariot. Your person's energy. We have the eight of pentacles. Your energy. Knight of cups. All right. So you are wanting to. Um, there's a sense of moving forward. You know, with victory. Your person, whatever it was. I do believe it was them who said something to you that, that they were remorseful about. Uh, with them having the Eight of Pentacles, that's them diligently working on something here. Let's continue here. You're in an energy of the Knight of Cups. Um, you know, wanting to come in with some form of a, an offer, emotional offer, right? All right, Virgo, we're going to continue. Don't forget to watch your birthday update reading for Virgos. That'll be coming out today as well. We have the Hermit card, Virgos energy. Your person has the Nine of Wands. Your energy is the Star card. All right, so Virgo, let's see what's going on here. Let's go deeper. Your person has the Nine of Wands, so they're in an energy of just feeling like they're getting burned out, right? Can't do it this way anymore. Something's got to change. You know, feeling like they need to maybe, you know, they're trying to decide if they want to move forward to that ten of wands and lay these burdens down or do they want to return try to talk things out in the eight of wands energy okay let's see here so we're going to clarify <clears throat> this is for virgo sun moon and rising angels and spirit guides please let us know what are the additional messages for this spread here why is the five of cups here for virgo why the Five of Cups? This is for my Virgos. Why the Five of Cups, please? We have the Ace of Cups. So, Virgo, it could be a sense of, um, you know, you regretting starting something else, some new situation, anything else. It could be that you regret starting over with this person. We have the high priestess and the will of fortune, Virgo. I feel like, you know, you regret um, either starting something new as it relates to love, you know, or letting something new go as it relates to love. Something that your, um, something that your instincts was telling you not to do and you, you're doing it anyway or you did it anyway. Something about moving on from a new connection or someone's, you know, love offer that you may have rejected or let go. Tell me about the Seven of Wands, please. We have Temperance. We have the Page of Rods. We have the Seven of Cups. And we have the Eight of Rods. So your person is in an energy of defending themselves because 
like they're trying, they're, they're wanting to balance something out. So they they could be defending, you know, this connection towards some uh, to some other people, um, defending their decisions. They're they're very defensive, defending their decision on something. They're trying to be balanced when it comes to their emotions. Um, it looks like your person may have been in a player energy at some point or leading consistently starting new things you know as it relates to their passion having options here maybe they've come in and talked to you about maybe having this ten of cups because they're all in their head or they've been thinking about it they've been thinking about it for quite some time now yeah and they want to reconcile with you so that's what that is they want to reconcile and that's what they're working on here tell me about the eight of pentacles Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, please. Yeah, see, we have the World card. This person is working on a new beginning or working on ending the way that they were and starting, you know, fresh with something new or starting a new way. The Nine of Wands. Why is it here, please? All right, so we have the Knight of Swords. Tell me more. Yeah, this person's tired of being, you know, tired of the way things are. As far as um, feeling like things are toxic between you and them. You know, tired of or tired of being that toxic force. When it relates to you and them and they're just ready to eat they're ready to rush forward or rush towards you rushing in towards you they're ready to return i feel like you know they've gone in and done some shadow work which we know we've seen the journey that virgo has been on with this person Hermit card. Tell me more. We have the chariot. We have the seven of pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> so I feel like they've gone within. They've done, you know, the shadow work. They're moving victoriously past that. Um, and, you know, they think about, like, past things and, you know, seeds that they've sown in the past. But they're wanting to go ahead and get past that. They're wanna, they want to victoriously move past that. They're not trying to go back to old things. They're not trying to, you know, they're not trying to pick the fruits of, of, of every seed that they've sown here. They're not. Now, Virgo, you have the star card, so you're still healing from whatever took place between you and this person. You are willing to move forward with them as it relates to love. You know, you are willing. I'm going to look at the five of cups again. But it's like you're feeling like, you know, it was there was a missed opportunity. But this person, like, you know, there, uh, there's a lack as it relates to love. Something, some kind of regrets. Tell me about the Five of Cups, please. We have the Strength card. Yeah, it's like you... You're not sure if this person is your wish fulfillment at this point. like i feel like you regret everything that you've invested in the connection with this person because you're realizing this person's not the one all right Virgo. let's get some oracle out for you this is 
is for my Virgo, so I'm on rising. What are the messages, please? What are the messages, please? What do they need to know? What do my Virgos need to know for their highest good? within nostalgia for your person wisdom for you so yeah there's that you know that shadow work just keeps showing up here just somebody addressing their dark side your person is you know really reminiscing romanticizing about you you know when things were good like this person really wants to get back to you now you're coming back into this connection you're returning but you're, you're bringing your wisdom your wisdom and the lessons that you've learned from this person like you're not it's certain things you're just not going to accept so we have speechless we have communication and we have rhythm you feel like there's some things that's just not being said or some things that's not being discussed that may need to come out to the forefront Hmm. Maybe there's things that you haven't told this person. This person is trying to communicate clearly with you, but there's things that you're holding back. It could be things that the both of you are holding back because this, this card is centered. And you may be coming forward with whatever it is because, I mean, but you're, you're just doing things in moderation. Like, you know, you're not trying to overload anything not this reunion not yourself you know you just whatever you feel is necessary you're just not trying to get over give we have fallen in love and holding on we have depression and anxiety or mental anguish with your person and we have you overthinking virgo So, you know, it's like you and this person, you know, you guys are not seeing eye to eye in this moment. But Virgo, it really, it really feels like you have someone else on your mind or some other situation, you know, that you'd rather do. So we're going to clarify. Thank you for the messages that we already have out. So tell me more about speechless. Why is it here, please? Why is speechless here? take all of those but we have the three of cups out so you know virgo i truly feel like you know there's another situation that you have at the forefront of your mind putting you know and now where you may have been <clears throat> in a situation in the past where your person continuously put you in a third situ a third party situation it appears that now <laughs> this is what you're doing to this person yeah you see that the devil and you're not you're not saying anything about it there's a third party involved in this in this connection at this point, but you haven't mentioned it to the person that's returning from the past. Tell me about overthinking. Why is it here, please? Yeah, so, you know, Virgo, it's like you still care about this person from the past. You don't want to hurt this person. Like, there's love for this person, but there's someone else. There's someone else on your mind. Tell me about this anxiety. Why does Virgo's person have mental anguish here? Okay. 
person doesn't think you love them the same anymore. They don't think you want a new beginning with them and it hurts. And if this is not an energy that they're in right now, they'll be coming into this energy. Tell me about communicate. What do they want to talk about? Five of Cups. They want to talk about the things that they did that hurt you, Virgo. Um, they're trying to come in and, and discuss or confess, you know, about things which we've seen in the, the previous spread. Discuss or con or or confess about things that they've done in the past that were was hidden because they want to reconcile, but they're trying to go through and do it the right way with you this time. Yep. Okay. romance angels have to add to this this is for my virgos give your relationship a chance Control issues and true love. And we have wedding at the bottom. This person, you know, Virgo, it's like you've been through quite a bit with this person. This person, we know that they've gone through this dark shadow of the um the the, the dark night of the soul. Um sorry, dark night of the soul transformation that we've seen them go go through. And this person now. Now they want to do things the right way, but you're not sure with this let go of control issues. So you're being guided to just allow things to unfold on its own. There's somebody else involved on your part, Virgo. I can feel it. There's someone else involved, someone else you have in mind, someone else that you're starting to acquire, you know, interest in. But you still love this person from the past. And that's why that's the person that's showing up in your reading for your energy. Because your love still stays with that person. You like someone new, but the love is with this person. This is where your heart is. But you don't know if you want to rekindle anything with this person because of things that happened from the past. All right. So we're going to get an outcome for you. This is for my Virgo. What is the potential outcome in this situation, please? What is the potential outcome? This is for my Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising. What is the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome for Virgo? wands <laughs> star card okay you guys literally got the same thing again so both of you are trying to look at this look at the bigger picture this person still is in limbo they're still not sure if they want to just let it go you know or that this is how they'll be feeling they're not they won't be sure if they want to let it go with the ten of wands moving forward or if they want to retract back and try again to have a conversation with you to get a better understanding or to give you a better understanding of what they're trying to do or how they feel or, you know, there's several conversations that I see that they've been trying to have with you, Virgo. And they may want to come back and try again. You're still trying to heal. You're just not sure, you know, what you want to do. 
Yeah, see, and there's two cards. So, you know, Virgo, you do, you love this person, you do, but you just worry about things from the past or the lies or the secrets or things that were not told to you. You worry. That's a huge worry of yours. And that's what's holding you back potentially, you know, or making you second guess this, you know, victory with this person. They come in and speak their truth. They're telling, they're being honest. They're, they're trying to be very transparent with you. They really are. You're just, you know, you're just not sure, but you are bringing in balance. You have the star and the moon, you know, so you, you are, and two cards came out again. You're torn between moving forward, moving on, you know. <laughs> You're torn with moving on if you want to move on from this person to a new connection. Because you have acquired feelings for someone else. So it's that or you are... Oh, that definitely didn't go well at all. It's either that or, or you are trying to find, I mean, you, you just, Virgo, you want to be, you want to be in a calm situation, like smooth sailing when it comes to your love life. Like you just don't want the drama, the nonsense. You just don't want that. You just want things to be the way it should be. You know, when it when it comes to a love connection, this is what you want. You want to, you love this person. You do. You love this person a lot. But you just, you don't want to, um, you just don't want to be, you don't want to put yourself back in a chaotic situation. We have King of Cups at the bottom. So this person could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But, um, yeah, you just, you don't want to be. You don't want to put yourself back in a, a bad situation. And so you're a little back and forth. You're a little back and forth. As to um, if you should or should not try again with this connection. Now we have victory right in the center. So if you chose to, you know, to go back, you guys will have a victory this time. But if you chose to move forward with this new love interest, there'll be a victory there as well. I know that didn't help. I know I, I can hear you guys saying it. Well, that doesn't help. Well, that just made it difficult. Well, what am I supposed to do? I can hear it. I can hear you guys. This is when your free will comes into play. What do you truly want? What do you truly want? You know, it looks like they're both here for you. Pick. Because both situations are here for you and both are going to be victorious regardless to which one you pick. Understand that somebody has to hurt, right? Somebody's going to get hurt. Be it the old person from your past or the new one. Somebody's going to feel some form of being uncomfortable. It may not be true heartache, three of swords, but somebody's going to feel some form of emotional disrupt. Tell me about the Six of Swords, please. With the Two of Cups. Thank you. Yeah, you're at a stalemate, Virgo. Like, you can't decide. You're kind of stuck. Tell me about the Ace of Cups with the Moon, please. Yeah, see, your the first connection, I, you just feel like it's a burden. And you're torn when it comes to do you want to go with the second the second option. But this first one, you you want to go back to this this old person. You want to lay them burdens down, but you just don't, you're not sure. You're not sure. They want to make it to the Ten of Wands, too. They want to lay their burdens down, too. Page of Swords, please. 
anything on the page of swords. So, you know, this person, you know, they're fighting for this connection. They're going to continue, you know. They're going to continue to defend their feelings, what they feel for you. Um, and battle for this connection. Standing firm on what they believe. And they believe that you're their nine of cups. You know, you're their wish fulfillment. You're their nine of cups. So that is what we have for the outcome. You know, Virgo. Um, but you have to make a decision. And then we have the three of swords at the bottom. So again, somebody has to hurt. Somebody, they don't have to, but somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna be hurt. Because you can't keep them both. So, Virgo, that is what I have for you this week. All right, tough decisions, tough, tough decisions. I know. I know, my Virgos, I know. But, boy, how them tables turn, right? All right, Virgo, so that is your reading. If this resonates with you, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future readings. All right, Virgos are on a journey. You definitely want to stay up on what's coming towards you. If it did not resonate with you, that's okay. Um, watch your moon and rising sign weekly video for any messages that might be there for you. Also, there are several, several, several wonderful readers on YouTube. Um, definitely check into those. Um, see if anyone else may have a message for you and come back next week where we'll be doing our weekly updates, okay? Happy birthday again, Virgo. Your birthday reading will be coming out today and thanks for watching.